1.5 is what it should be worth. Entrance into Narnia. We bought this for 700. My meeting with my joint venture partner, that was really good. So good that I forgot to film any of it, so. Morning everybody, you join me at Manchester Piccadilly train station. I am currently on my way down to London to meet up with an investor, a joint venture partner of mine, and going to be checking out a project down there and doing a podcast with Ahmed Khan. So, really excited for it and thought I'd just bring you guys along on a bit of a vlog. So I've just touched down in London, walking over to King's Cross to meet up with my joint venture partner and uh, I've no, no idea where I'm actually going. I'm not used to London. Yeah, I need to actually figure out where I'm going. Hey, all right, mate, how you doing? Hey, man. Good yeah, good. You. you well? So we've finished the um, conversation, my meeting with my joint venture partner, that was really good. So good that I forgot to film any of it, so uh, unfortunately we won't get to see any of that. And uh, just had an absolute nightmare in London again with the trains. Uh, we are now on, me and David, my video master. Um, here we are on this random train getting our way to Stevenage to go and have a look at a site with Ahmed Khan. So excited to come and have a look at that. Hopefully the trains won't be delayed any further. We actually provide a full-on bespoke sourcing service where we will go and find the perfect property that matches your criteria. If that's something you're interested in, then make sure you click the link in the description to find out more. So we're here outside Ahmed's property. Ahmed, Thank you so much for letting us have a oh, look around. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing. What's the plans with Yeah, this? so this is currently, it might not look like it from that side, but it's a three bedroom detached house. It looks a lot bigger than a three bed detached house. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's about, it's about 120 square meters. I think it's quite wide, but it's actually not that deep. But then the good thing is you have a lot of land at the front. Yeah, so yeah. you've got quite a bit of space here. You also have a bit of space there. So should we, should we start from that driveway. side? Yeah, yeah, show yeah let's, let's come down here. So all of these hedges, I know like it doesn't look that big, but once you account for the hedges and everything else, it's got quite it's a bit a of space. Plot. Yeah, yeah. It's got quite a bit of space this side. And it's also got quite a bit of space on this side here as well. Yeah. Uh, currently the car's coming from here. You have this space, that space, and a bit of a deep garden. So yeah. we looked at this house, it came on the market about last November. Tried to work out, well, do we extend it? Do we turn into a five bed house? What exactly mm. do we do with it? In the end, we sort of decided we'll apply for planning permission for six flats. Yeah. Because you have so much space, you yeah. know, all the way to this boundary wall here, and you have so much space at the back, which I'll show you in a sec. Yeah. And we applied for six one bedroom flats. In the end, we got planning for three one bedroom flats and two two bedroom flats. It will get extended on the side, double yeah. story extension on the side. And we'll do a double story on the back and a single story on the back as well. Feels like something off a film. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, Entrance into Narnia. The back might not seem massive because the problem is, one, there's a lot of trees and second, it looks like this is the only part of the garden. But if yeah. you actually go, let's go through here and I'll show you the rest. So our plan is, I think this double story extension comes to maybe about here and the single story goes slightly further out. Okay, so you leveling this out? This is gonna be leveled, yeah, yeah. The garden is this area here, and of course a lot of it's just bushes and stuff, but then when you come through this side here, yeah, yeah, you also have a lot of this area, so you've got, you know, this shed, the garage, this shed here, this shed here, and it goes all the way there, so these sheds and garages and stuff, it, looks it, like it doesn't look that big. It's almost like there's different sections of the yeah, garden, yeah, but actually, it all together it's huge. Because if you, if you look at the entire plot size, I mean, Given the front garden, the side garden, and the back garden, yeah, there's yeah. actually quite a bit of space. But what's happening to this garden? Is it, it, it will just be a communal garden for okay. all five flats. So I think one of the flats has an entrance from the side, so they'll go in that way, the rest will yeah. come in from the front, and yeah. they'll, the rest will just be a cleared out garden more than anything else. Yeah, yeah. Is that it in terms of the external work? Are you doing anything like anything to the roof or...? No, it's literally just coming out to the side, coming out to the back. Yeah. And you know, you know the other thing is that when people think about turning a house into five flats, it seems like a big project, right? In the sense that, oh, there's so much going on. Yeah. But if you think about it, it's a double story side extension and it's yeah. a double story back extension, which people do on like the normal yeah, three bedroom anyway. house. The extension I think is 150 square meters or 160 square meters. People do that on a house. I mean, if you if we look at this bungalow next door, they're probably adding 150, 60, yeah, yeah. you know, just to that property, but you wouldn't mentally go, oh, well, that's a huge project. Yeah. Whereas I think maybe because you're subdividing it into five, it just feels like this is such a gigantic development. 
Whereas with something like this, you just need a house builder. I know we're turning into five flats, but it is akin to a house extension. Going on the side, going on the back, single story in the back. And then just big renovation inside. Just a big, yeah, exactly. And then splitting the inside. Cool, so we come inside, like, like I said, three bedroom detached house. I mean, you can really see it when you're in here, what you mean about like, it's really wide. But it's not that big. It's actually quite shallow. Yeah, as, yeah, yeah. Because the rooms aren't massive. I'm at the back of the building already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's really not deep shallow. at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's very, very narrow. But this is, I think, from memory, when I viewed it, this was the living room. Yeah. Um, again, not, not massive. This area had the dining table. I don't know how it compares to like a normal dining room, but it's, again, it's not, it's not huge. Like, you know, no. you walk in and you're, to your point, you're basically at the end. Got the kitchen here. I'm trying to see if I can sell the kitchen, to be honest. I mean, it's got Neff appliances and stuff. Oh, it's actually all right. Though. Yeah, I don't know if someone buy it, but... Is that, is that not just more faff, though, to try and take Probably. that off? I, my builders wouldn't do that. They just no. smash it off. And then it's got this uh, this lean-to area. I think this is where they have their laundry. I think this was built after because of the slope roof and stuff. Again, like a tiny utility room. The main entrance where we came in from, that will pretty much remain the entrance and you will come in, you will go straight down the corridor yeah. and you will have three flats downstairs and you'll have two flats upstairs. So what, what are the actual... Um Tell me through what the numbers are yeah, then, so roughly, because I know it's all quite... Of course, yeah, and, and things change so much. So we bought this for 700, 700,000 as the three bedroom house. That seems really expensive, but I live uh, in Manchester, so I don't know what prices are like. So the, so the bungalow right next here. door, for context, that's sold for 750. Okay. And there's a house on the market right now across the road which are with a non-existent garden for 750. But you were able to pay that because you know what it's going to be worth Roughly on the back end. Correct, yeah. So talk me through that. So one. actually, I'll give you a quick visual, actually, that you might be able to see this from here. Oh, you can't see it from here. Basically, across the road last year, uh, we turned the house into four flats. Okay. Right? So four one-bedroom flats. Now, that building got valued as just under £1 million for four flats. So £250,000 each, yes. right? So for one bed. So each flat here, the one bed should be worth at least at least two seven five minimum yeah. because they're going to be bigger and they're also going to have separate titles. That building did not have a separate title. It was all under one, one freehold. Yeah, one freehold, correct. And yeah. normally each title is worth more, you know, than if it is under one building. Yeah. So that was 250 under one title. So this should be for the one bed, should be at yeah, least yeah. 275 yeah. for the one bed. And so when was that? That was last year. We, yeah, so prices have gone up since yeah, then. Yeah, we well, refinanced. So. Oh, actually, well, we did it last year, but we refinanced uh, in April this year. Yeah. So it was 250 six months ago yeah right one so, bed should be about 275 yeah three of those that makes it two seven, unashamedly use a calculator 275 times three yeah 825 825 and then there's two two beds which should be around 350 each so okay. about another 700 okay so 1.525 sound about right around that sort of price yeah yeah but it should be around that ballpark given the fact that we've done one across the road early this year but yeah so roughly for this for 700 1.5 is what it should be worth by the end of it. The finance cost, we normally buy this on bridging finance. That should come to, over 12 months, around £100,000. Okay. And the refurb should come to around the £400,000 mark. Two mil, uh, two mil, imagine. Not two, two mil. 200,000 or slightly more, 250,000 Plus you'll have some, profit. yeah, plus some stamp plus duty costs and those sort of things there. Yeah. Which, which for me is fine because I'm not looking to buy and sell this, I'm looking to buy and hold. So as long as I can refinance and get the majority of my money back, yeah. for, for me, that's a good investment. Yeah, so uh, bed, I think that was the main bedroom. Yeah. This is one of the smaller bedrooms. Again, it's not massive, is it? They're really small, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are small, they are small. So this is, uh, I guess, what would be your second room. I mean, it's got like, you know, these cupboards and stuff with these back in the day, I don't know, some sort of like locks, but it's, yeah, not massive. I've got a bathroom here. Yeah. Again, I mean, uh, to be honest, I am just as surprised as you are. But have you actually been in this? I've been. I've been here. I've been here like once. <laughs> and then you have this bedroom here. Um, yeah, yeah. Nice. So uh, to kind of visualize, you know, imagine this is getting extended that way out, right? So this this portion that we're in yeah. is one of the flats, and the other half is the second flat, but because it's extending backwards and sideways, yeah. it's very hard to visualize exactly how it's gonna sort of yeah, pan yeah. out by the end. But it looks good. That's it looks essentially really good. what it looks like right now, so we'll, we'll see. Ahmed, oh, thank you very much for oh, showing me around, really appreciate it. Um, like I said, let's do a before and after, because yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it'll look really good, and I know that people watching will have found this really helpful, so thanks for showing yeah, me around. Yeah, I'm glad, thanks for coming down.